What's up, Internet? My name is David Stagg. I'm the creative director here at Shippel, the web marketing company. And I was blessed by the Google gods to get an invite to Google+. So today, we're going to run through a couple of the new things that come with Google+, kind of do a rundown of it, uh, show you a good overview of it, and explain a little bit about what circles are, what uh, sharing is, how to share, privacy settings, all the fun stuff. So if you don't mind, let's jump right in and let's get going. So currently, right here, all I've done is log into my Google Plus account. So this kind of shows you the generic uh, dashboard, if you will, of uh, what you see as soon as you log in. Um, there are certain things to point out. Obviously, sort of, sort of like Facebook, we have a, a stream of uh, information that comes from people that I follow. Um, we can share things right here. Um, we can also share things up here in the right-hand corner. It's effectively the same box and does the same thing. Um, you can see over here I have in my circles where I have friends that I've already added to my circles. And the cool thing about Google Plus is that the way that Facebook uses lists, Google kind of uses circles, and it's centered around the circles. Rather than like Facebook where it's centered around friending people, um, lists are kind of a part of it in a way to differentiate what you want to show different people. Now, Google does the same thing here with Google Plus, except the whole entire application seems to center around these circles. So let's start there. If you look up here in the uh, menu bar, this last item over here is your circle. So if we click on that, we can head over and right now, just note right here, we have three different options. We have people in your circles. These are 57 people that I've already added to my circles. You can see these circles down here. I'll scroll through them here. But you can also check out people who've added you to circles. So you can see anybody that's added me to their circles. And over here, we can find and invite other people that we would like to get into our circles. So let's first start over here with people in my circles. Um, the cool thing about circles are just like lists, you can rename them. It comes with default ones. The default ones it comes with are friends, family, acquaintances, following. And I've added networking as my own individual one and Shippleites, and these are people that we work with here at Shippel. So anybody that I work with ends up in this uh, circle over here. You can add people to more than one circle, so a lot of the Shippleites actually double up and show in my friends circle as well. If I wanted to go over here and look at people who have added me, it shows the 30 people that have added me, and there's a very interesting thing to note here, is that it does not show which circle I'm in on there that they've put me in. So if, let's say, John Michael over here who is a friend of mine, if he actually hated me and created a circle for people I hate or uh, Ring of Hell, and he put me in that circle, I would never know it. Only thing I get to see is that I got put into a circle. That makes me feel good. I don't need to know which one, and that's as far as it's going to go. Over here on Find an Invite, this is how you actually get people into your circles. So let's say, for example, April, who is our uh, West Coast sales manager. She is working out there in uh, California for us. Let's try and add her to a circle. So I want to add her to my uh, Shipalites group. There's two ways to do this. I can click here and just begin typing April. Oop, caps lock. And it will actually find her. And I can click her. And it will ask me which circle to put her in. So I can click Ship Lights. And if I hit Save, it would put her in there. Now, that's not nearly as cool as this, which is what everybody at Google wants you to do, is just drag her over into your group and drop her off. My wheel spins. She gets added. See the plus one happen. And she disappears from my, open, uh, uh, she disappears from my list of available people to put into circles. Now, if I wanted to keep putting her in circles, I could do that again. You'll see that now it shows her as in my Shipalites group. But if I click here and also want to put her as a friend, I can do that and hit Save. It goes through and does its thing, adds a plus one there, no problem. Let's go ahead and close that. And if I try to add her again, you'll see that now she's listed in two circles as opposed to just one. So that, that's kind of how you add people into circles. Um, you can rename the circles just like you uh, would any other one. So if I wanted to change acquaintances, I could just click on it. Uh, right here, I have the option to rename it. I can change the description. These, once again, are all come from default out of the box from Google+. Plus. Um, and I can add people directly to it there. Obviously, I haven't added anybody into my acquaintances yet um, as I was just uh, playing with it. Um, right here, you can actually create new circles. So if we click over here, create circle, we've wanted to create a new one called uh, sports fans like that, I can actually, if I didn't want to pepper everybody with my posts about the Houston Texans or the Houston Astros, I can actually keep a running list of sports fans and just submit that, uh, share things to that circle instead. So I know that my brother, who is also in my family group, uh, loves sports as well. So I'm actually going to add into this sports, fan, uh, this sports fans list. You'll see he jumps up right there. 
Um, and my buddy Miguel, he also uh, is a sports fan. So let's go ahead and add him. So you can see that I've added him. They're showing up here on the uh, screen. Do I want to add anyone else? No, that's good for now. Those are two good people to have. Um, so right now I'm going to do create circle with two people. So it's going to automatically create that circle with those people in it as we go on here. And there you go. You can now see that uh, down here I have a new circle called sports fans. And I can always go back and change it, rename it, do whatever I want with it. So that's kind of circles in a nutshell. Things to notice once again are that most of uh, Google Plus circles around these circles rather than uh, Facebook, it has lists, but it's more of a way to keep people segregated. Um, you really want to start to use your circles in Google Plus and try to mess around with them and get everybody uh, into a circle and organized first before you start doing your sharing. And I think that's what kind of Google wanted with it. Uh, I'm going to actually head back to my home page right here. And let's talk about sharing for just a second. So pretty soon across the web, you're going to start seeing these plus ones jump up. And it's a little box that has a little Google if you can see it right here, it has like a Google uh, kind of colors across the top with a plus one on it. You'll see them on Google searches. You'll see them. You can now embed them on sites, and we'll go through that a little bit later. Um, but what you want to do is if you like that, it's like Facebook like button. If you like whatever's going on, you want to plus one it. And then those plus ones show up on your profile so people can see what you're out there looking at and enjoying. 